Hey, how's everyone? I'm Greg Standridge, and I'm a guitar instructor and, and uh, also head of the guitar department at Norman Music Institute here in Norman, Oklahoma. Um, I want to uh, give you guys a chance, especially your younger players, uh, even older players can do this too, uh, but these are five real simple little children's songs. Uh, and I'm going to show you the book that we're working these out of. This is uh, called Easy Guitar, Songs for Beginners. And uh, the author here, Thomas Johnson, I just found this on Amazon. Uh, it's a really good little book, though. There's 60 songs in here. And uh, we're going to work through the uh, five of them. Five of, the, of the, my favorites, I should say. A couple things about technique on these songs. We're just trying to really lock down finger per fret theory. So in the tablature, if it says one, you're going to play the first fret, but it also means you're going to use the first finger. Try to stay right behind the fret and right on the tip of the finger. And also try and keep your thumb down. You get a lot more stretch that way. Uh, so you're going to see songs that start with a second. So you would start with a second finger on the second fret. Or they may start third, and you would start with the third finger on the third fret. And there's a couple of them that use the pinky in it, and you'll have to use your pinky. Try to let your first finger do this. If you see your hand doing this, something's going wrong for you. Try and just get where your finger's just going to run right up and down. There's never a need to go that way. If your finger's in the right position, you just set down. And that's what this is all about. As far as picking is concerned, we're going to play everything with a downstroke, but I would encourage you to keep your pick very close to your fingers. In other words, you don't want the pick way out here like that. Keep it right up under the finger like that, where it's pointing right out of the side of the thumb. Not like this. Not like that. When it's pointing right out of the side of the thumb, it just sits right on top of the guitar and your wrist stays nice and straight instead of like this. That's not good. We don't want that going on. Yeah, that. So, you know, keep it nice and straight through there. Anyways, let's move to the first song. So I want to start with, let's see, let's start with Amazing Grace here. I think that's in here somewhere. Yeah, 31, Amazing Grace. So I'm going to set these at about 54. Like that. So here's Amazing Grace. It's in 3-4. Um, it starts on beat 3 in the measure, so uh, it's got a pickup measure in it. So when I count this, I'll count off like this. One, two, three. One, two. Just like that. Okay, here we go for real. One, two, three. One, two. Two. And grace very nice all right let's see what we have next in here uh, yeah let's go with this one happy birthday so if you have a brother sister mom dad grandpa grandma and uncle birthday's coming up you can surprise them by playing happy birthday 27 We're going to play Happy Birthday at the same same exact speed. It's um, in 3-4 also. So remember, 3-4 means there are three beats in the measure. And the quarter note is going to be one beat long. Or it gets one beat. Or it gets one count. Um, so with this piece, uh, 
we're going to start right on count three, just like we did in the previous piece. So this is going to be one and two and three. Let me demonstrate that on the guitar. One and two and three and one and two and just like that. So here's our tempo. I'll count to three twice and then we'll start on the next three. One, two, and three, and one, and two, and. Good. Now in that song, there's a couple of different things that happen. There's, there's the first thing we see is that we're using a four, which is the uh, F sharp note on the uh, second measure, second full measure. We use our pinky on anything with a four in, in this uh, book. Also, there's a little bird's eye down at the beginning of the first line, and they called it a fermata. That usually means to hold. I didn't do that there at all. I just kept us in beat so we could stay with the metronome. But if you feel like making a pause on it, it's, it works out really nicely. In fact, let's play it now with the pause. One, two, three, one, and two, and three. <laughs> There we go. Happy birthday. All right. The next one we're going to be playing is a classic. Mary Had a Little Lamb. You know, that's one of the things that happens in music lessons. Everybody says, I don't want to learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb. Well, there's nothing wrong with Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's a nice melody, and it's we all know it, and especially whenever you're working uh, on uh, with children, it's really important for them to have melodies that they know the sound of. They can kind of tell if they're right or wrong. There's nothing wrong with that, using that ear in the beginning a little bit. Mary Had a Little Lamb is in 4-4 four, four time. It starts right on beat one. It's a really simple uh, little piece, actually. Um, nothing, nothing really out of the ordinary here, so we're just going to go ahead and count this off. I'll count to four, and then we start on beat one. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to do uh, row, row, row your boat. It's in 3-4 time. Uh, and we're, it's going to sound a lot faster. The metronome is going to be moving at 120. That's the way I had that set up. Uh, it's 
just uh, kind of a, a odd way to count it actually in three four but we're just going to go ahead and go with it here because it really makes it a lot easier for for little ones to play it so I'm going to kind of give you an example of the time on it here one two three one two three one two That's how we're going to start it. So let's all start together this time. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's uh, kind of a challenge there a little bit. The speed's a little faster than we've been used to, but it works out pretty good. When they actually play that song, you kind of one, two, three, four. So it's really one. There's the pulse on it. But when we, like say, to help help little kids read the music on it's a good, good idea to put it in three, four and kind of real slow. Okay, so I have one more for you guys. This is uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which is actually a, uh, a composition by Mozart. Uh, he uses that for the alphabet song too, and I think there's another one that I heard about today, someone had discovered that was very similar to that melody. Okay, page seven. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars in 4-4 four, four time. And uh, it does use the pinky again on the fourth fret. So be sure to use your pinky. Always remember that you're using one finger per fret whenever you do these exercises, okay? All right. So we're going to do that back to our slow tempo of uh, 54. All right, I'll count to four one time and then we're in. One, two, three, four. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, you can play it again, like I say. But uh, if you're interested in lessons, please uh, please think about Norman Music Institute. We have an amazing school there with amazing teachers. Uh, you know, 25 teachers teaching all levels and ranges, all sorts of instruments: violin, guitar, bass, drums, piano, vocals. I'll forget something, I'm sure. Uh, mandolin, ukulele, lots of ukulele. And so uh, it's a great way, especially in these days, where if, if you are stuck at home to do lessons online, we do in-house lessons too. So if you feel comfortable doing that, then you're welcome to come in and take lessons there too. Uh, but uh, if you give us a call at 405-292-8400, we'll be glad to talk to you more about, about lessons. And uh, we always offer free lessons too, so you can try it out that way and, and just see what it's like for you. Anyways, I appreciate your time. Have a good day.